Howdy everybody in YouTube land. I think I have the keypad firmware finally complete. Okay. There's the rest of the code. Uh, I'm doing 57.6 baud. All the ports are enabled. System variables, timers are set up for the um, uh, seconds counter and stuff like that. Power on. The, the right enable and you know all that fun stuff clock enabled everything's good here the big ass state machine is finally written look at all that yeah it's finally written so now there's the power key subroutine to handle it so everything's done now oh there's the key scanning code so everything's done so what we're going to do this is where we're going to turn it on, but before we do, actually I want to look at something because I can't remember how. Okay, there we go, power fill. So, say, well, well, we'll, we'll give it the real data. Do a copy, but since I don't have the scoreboard hooked up, um, I have to spoof the packets coming from the scoreboard because here's what happens. Turn it on, but you don't get anywhere. So it's COM3 terminal. Okay, release the RTS line, which resets the unit. So we do show hex, assemble packet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give the hex data 12028100. First, I gotta calculate the checksum now. 12 XOR 02 XOR. 81, that's 91, so 91. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to send a self test. So that's the packet for the self test. So as soon as I send it, boom, ready. I get a reply. So this is, this is the transmission that I sent, and that's what's coming back to go back to the board to set the board all zeros. So everything's good. So now I can set my position, I can increment the scores, got my quarter, let's see, got my uh, yards to go, downs, so I can go set downs, five downs, and I can do set clock. 15 minute clock, enter, and then I can start the clock. I can also stop the clock. And then I can do a set home, 50, enter. So, there you have it, YouTubers. Everything. I don't know, I didn't see that better. Everything is done. Thank you for watching.